Greetings, and welcome to the Compendium. On today's episode, we feature Omoikane, a god of wisdom and intelligence in Japanese mythology. Omoikane is a demon that has made quite a few appearances throughout the Megaten series and in various forms, appearing as a boss in Shin Megami Tensei 20XX, a mini boss in SMT Imagine, and one of the mini bosses that appear in SMT4 if you choose to take Walter's route, the Chaos route. In the Persona series, however, his appearances take a huge turn, becoming one of the first personas the protagonist can acquire at level 7, and usually the first persona with the Zeo lightning spell in the game. Amoi Kane is a god from Shinto. His name means serving one's thoughts, or thought combining deity. It's said to be a deity that can hold many thoughts at once or combine many minds of individuals together to help share their thoughts between each other. Shinto is a Japanese religion that puts a focus on rituals, simplicity, and nature. I use the word religion here lightly because Shinto is more of a collection of beliefs and mythologies rather than a fully laid out and written down religion. There is no Bible equivalent to Shinto, for example. There's no clear directions that have been written down on what should or should not be believed, what is considered appropriate or blasphemous. There are a set of rules and practices, and there are gods, but that's about as close to a religion as it comes. In Shinto, it is believed that all elements of nature have a god. Rivers have a god, mountains have a god, and even rocks can be said to have a god. Different variations of the same things in nature can also have different gods. For example, two rivers can have two different river gods associated with them, and so on and so forth. Shinto also puts a lot of importance on ancestors as well, believing that their ancestors are the ones responsible for creating the world. Some sections of Shinto believe that once members of the family die, they ascend to the heavens to become a god themselves and help organize and create the world for those still living on earth. This means that there are actually thousands upon thousands of gods in the Shinto belief. Many shrines dedicated to Shinto won't have statues or paintings on display of any of the gods. This is not only because there are so many to choose from, but since no one god can be said to be more important than any other, Shinto shrines just opt out of artistic depictions of the gods entirely. Having so many gods also leads to an interesting predicament whereby few gods are given enough attention and care to really flesh out their individual stories, abilities, and appearance. Amoi Kane is one such god on who we have very limited information about on the internet, especially regarding their appearance. For anyone to learn more than there currently is to know about Amoi Kane over Google, you would have to head to Japan and visit the Chichibu Shrine, a shrine dedicated to Omoi Kane and Ame no Minakano Shiokami, located in the Saitama Prefecture. Omoi Kane has only had two different artistic representations in the Megaten line of games, but it's always referred to with male pronouns. Typically, he has made his appearances as a floating brain with eyes, hearkening back to his mythos as a thought-combining deity of intellect and wisdom. If there was ever an image associated with the mind and thoughts, it would have to be an image of the brain, so his design here makes very literal sense. Also in the Persona line of games, Omoi Kane uses Zeo lightning spells, which I like to think is appropriate since electricity is very much an important part of the brain. It's how everything functions, so having him wield it as a weapon is kind of a fun little aside. His appearance in Shin Megami Tensei 4 is very different and harder to make sense of. Omoi Kane here appears to have a similar enough color palette to the standard design, but instead of a brain, his body looks like that of an imp, or a sorcerer. His body is made up of brain-like, almost wooden branches, and he is even wearing clothing made up of scrolls, with his right arm actually unfurling out into a scroll. Scrolls themselves have always been associated with knowledge, usually of the forbidden kind in modern culture, so it's probably used to show how Omoi Kane has access to old and powerful knowledge. Couple that with his wizard-like staff that symbolizes a spellcaster, again relating back to intellect as a form of power, and this design keeps heavily in line with his creation mythos. While I can't explain the use of orbs in this design, especially the floating one between Omoi Kane's two horn-like protrusions, it's not uncommon in games to have a figure of higher intellect have some sort of crown or object that floats above 
slash around their heads as a type of halo. At this point, it's kind of understood as a marker of higher intellect. In the Megaten series, Omoikana is part of the Amatsu race. Amatsu is a Japanese word that translates into heavenly gods. It's a race that exclusively contains deities from Japanese mythology. Within the Persona series, Omoikane has made his appearances as part of the Hierophant Arcana. The Hierophant is known as the High Priest in some decks. He is the masculine counterpart to the High Priestess. He is also known as Chiron, the Pope, and the Shaman. When pulled in a tarot card reading, the Hierophant indicates that you may feel compelled to join some sort of group or institution. It may be as significant as joining a new church or religious group, or as simple as joining a gym. This tarot card is about identifying with a group and a way of thinking that will have benefit for you and will prompt further learning. In his focus on sharing knowledge through an institution, the Hierophant represents education and the pursuit of knowledge. This completely falls in line with Amoikana's purpose as a god. His very role as a thought-combining deity lends itself to joining a community or institution and sharing their knowledge. Gameplay-wise, the personas of the Hierophant Arcana have no weaknesses but no particular strengths as well. Hierophant mythological figures tend to mirror priestess figures, being male priests, gods of wisdom, or divine beings. Again, another perfect fit for Moikane. This video was produced by me. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. If you love the video and would like to see more, please like and subscribe to my channel. If you feel like there's more I could have said, or some important fact I left out, or something that you particularly liked about the video, please leave me a comment about it below. I'm always aiming to improve and give you the best content I can. Until next time, friends.